now that you've learned how to use PsycInfo and also open access sources, let's look at another place where you can go to look for research papers. That's Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a really great option for adding to your toolbox of search uh, systems as you become a more advanced searcher. However, going to Google Scholar should be done directly through the library and I'll show you why. So instead of just searching Google, I'm going to go ahead and Google Capilano Library to get to our website. Here it is. And um, as I've said before, sometimes the way our library looks, uh, the library website looks will change over time. We might change the colors, we might change a slight amount of where the how the layout is. But what you want to do is you want to look for the databases box. Uh, might also just be a link. Um, because we're going to go to the databases section, I'll click there right now, and we're going to enter Google Scholar through this area. So once we're here, we want to look at the alphabetical options here and pick G for Google Scholar. And you're going to find it in the list. Now, I'm already logged into a CapU computer, so when I click Connect, it's not going to prompt me to log in. But when you do this from home or from your laptop, and you click the Connect button, it's going to ask you to do your username and password, um, as we've seen before. So now we're in Google Scholar, and this is actually linked up with the library. This is exactly what you want because um, once you do your search, and I've already got mine kind of preloaded here, so violent video games, aggressive behavior, what it's going to do is it's going to give you all of your results like we've seen before. So you've got your title, you know, you've got like a bit of the abstract here, your authors and what year it's from. Um, you're going to see links directly to PDFs. So for example, this one here is available in our library. If I click on this link, it's going to automatically take me to the PDF. And if I, if I didn't log in as a CAPU student, then I might not see those links. So that's why I think that's really great. Now, um, Google Scholar, again, does not have as robust of search options as PsycInfo does. Like, for example, they're not giving us any option here to, like, do field searching and pick a drop-down field that says we want to find our keywords in the title or the abstract of the paper. But that's okay. I'm looking at these results and feeling like they're still pretty darn good. And some of them are ones that I didn't see in PsycInfo, or at least didn't see in the first few pages of my results. So that's excellent. So as you can see, all of these ones do have PDFs attached. As you go and you go through the different, different pages, you might sometimes see that they don't have them anymore. So this one doesn't have one. And if I click on the title here, I'm going to get some more information about the article, but I'm going to see that the only option is to buy the PDF for $39.95 US. Well, that's just ridiculous. We're not going to do that. So um, in the next video, we're actually going to look at a, uh, a, str a strategy called citation linking, which will teach you how to look this up in our library. So we're not going to do that just yet. For some reason, that one doesn't have a link um, to the library directly. But let me go to the next page even, because I want to see one. Aha, here's one. Experimental study of the differential effects of playing versus watching violent video games on children's aggressive behavior. This one looks really good. I think this is really relevant to me. Unlike these other papers, there's no PDF link. However, there is this link here that says, where can I get this at? And it's cut off, but it says, where can I get this at Capilano University? If you click on that link, you're going to see something that looks really familiar. You're going to see this page where you can see it's giving you a summary of information of the information about the article and it says full text of this article may be available from biomedical reference collection comprehensive which is one of our databases in the library you'll notice it doesn't say it was available from psych info and that's why we didn't find this paper before so if i click on this link it should take me through to be able to access this paper okay so now we're in another database and here's the PDF full text link. So there it is. This is so awesome because this paper didn't show up in Psych Info, didn't show up in the open access journal databases, but if I go back to my previous tab that I had open, which was this one, and I click back again, 
I did find it in Google Scholar, and because I logged in um, to Google Scholar through the library as if it were a library database, I got this sweet link that told me exactly where to get the paper. If you need a refresher on how to look up a reference using the library or by submitting an interlibrary loan request, I'll make sure that I list the links to those videos after this one so that you have a chance to refresh your memory on those. Then what I'll do is I'll ask you to please complete an activity that gives you some practice using Google Scholar for your research. Mm -hmm.